I'm Megan Ahrens, and today I will be showing you version two of the vaccine administration management application. There's been quite a few updates that I'm really excited to show you, so let's get started. Here's the landing page before logging in. Here they've laid out how this program works in a step-by-step -step process. So first you'll register, you'll enter your personal information, schedule the vaccine, and then once you've had your vaccine, you can update them on your health about side effects and stuff like that. Down here, we have frequently asked questions and announcements. If you already have an account, you can log in here, but I'm going to register. Once you've registered, you will get an email with a link to activate your account. After you've done that, you can log in. So I will do that right now. This is the landing page after logging in. It hasn't really changed much. They've added in your next step and you can enter your personal information here. If you watched the previous video, you'll notice that the UI has changed quite a bit from version one, and I think it's very simple and pleasing to look at. I want to note that all of these questions can be configured to work for your specific use case. I'm just going to answer them now and fill out a test home address. And submit. Now I'm ready to schedule my vaccine. This is where I can choose my preferred vaccination site, disclose any conditions, and choose the form of identification I would like to present and submit. After submitting, we're taken to a confirmation page. It provides my name, my preferred site, and next steps. The appointment date and time has been sent to my email. I can also go back to my homepage and my appointment date and time will show up here as well for my first dose and my second dose. I have instructions for before I arrive, I need to bring my identification, bring a facial mask and check my email for any updates. Let's manage our first appointment. Here's a more detailed summary of your appointment. You get your appointment code here, your QR code. You can print it. You get your date and time, the location of your vaccine, and your program and which manufacturer you're getting. So we're getting the Pfizer vaccine. Before we come in, we need to complete a required intake form. And you'll get a reminder email as well before your appointment. You can come down here and reschedule your appointment. So if I click this, I can say, oh, this day doesn't work for me. I would rather do it at 9.30 to 10 on Wednesday. I'm not going to reschedule it. You can cancel your appointments here. It will cancel both appointments because I believe they need to be 21 days apart. Let's complete our intake form. and submit. All right, it looks like I am ready to get vaccinated. Now I would like to show you the view of the clinician. So as a clinician, when I log in, I can view my upcoming appointments here. I don't have any at the moment. I can also view the unassigned appointments and it kind of gives you a list of the state verification code, the patient's name, their appointment date and time, and what dose that they're getting. If I go back, I can enter the code here and search. Here we have the detailed view, the program that we're administering, the verification code or appointment code, what dose they're getting, 
that it's scheduled the appointment date and time, their email address and phone number, and then those screening questions that we filled out in the very beginning. Down here, I can write notes. I can assign the task to me, so I will be administering this dose. I can verify their identity and save it. I can mark them as a no-show or cancel their appointment, but I'm going to mark it as complete. And then I will show you what it looks like once the appointments have been completed. So now that I've completed my first dose, it has been moved over to past appointments. And my next upcoming appointment is March 5th at 8 a.m. And that's all for version two. There were some major improvements with overall usability. They now have a clinician portal, which I think is super cool. I can't wait to see what's next with version three. Hope y'all enjoyed and make sure to check out our other YouTube videos while you're here. Thank <laughs> you.